Welcome to another video. When I first saw this problem, I really didn't know what to do because I thought it was a functional equation. But on closer inspection, I saw this guy hanging here. It's not a functional equation, it's a differential equation because there's a derivative involved in the word problem that I have that I need to solve. So this is hard to actually deal with but it becomes easier if you rewrite f of x as just y. And that's why we like using y. Now you know why. Let's get into it. So what I'm gonna do is rewrite this equation, not minding anything else, and say that this is t squared plus one multiplied by y prime, but I'm gonna write my y prime as dy dy dt. Huh, now I see it's a differential equation, plus this is gonna be y as a function of t is just y squared plus one is equal to zero. Now there is some suspicion that I'm looking for. It is not the typical suspicion because now I can see that, that there's one derivative and there is the square of the original function. So that's a little confusing. It is definitely not e. Okay, I'm not looking for something e. It might look like, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is. It might be a rational polynomial because that's what it's more likely to be. When you take the derivative of a rational polynomial, the denominator never goes away. It gets bigger and bigger. The derivative of one over x will have one over x squared eventually. You see? So you're looking for something that's rational. If you have these views, things become easier. So what would I do? I would, uh, so this one cannot be separated at this point, but dt cannot be under, dt has to be on top. So what I can do is, this is y squared plus one, this is t squared plus one. That's beginning to give me the vibes of the integral of one over t squared plus, okay. Ah, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Okay, let's go this way. dy dt will be equal to, if I move this over here, it's gonna be negative y squared minus one, or I can put a plus this way, and then I can divide by t squared plus one. Oh, t squared plus one. Okay, okay, this is good because now I can multiply by dt and pull this down here so that I can have dy over y squared plus one will be negative one over t squared plus one dt. You see how easy that became just because, okay, this is beautiful, we were able to rewrite it. So can I integrate both sides? Yes, and obviously, if you integrate this with respect to y, integrate this with respect to t, we're gonna have just here, it's gonna be octan of y. That's it. On this side, we're gonna have minus octan of t plus c. That's it. So, I would say this is your final answer, but we can we need to find what y is because that's the purpose of this and that's why they gave us these initial conditions. Okay, okay, this is another good reason to know you're looking for a rational expression. How? Because if they tell you t is not equal to one, it means there's gonna be some t minus one or t squared minus one in the denominator. That's why they already told you this from the beginning. So this is not our answer, okay? Um, what do we have? How do we get y? We can get y by, well, we need to know what c is. So firstly, if we move this here, we're gonna have arctan of y plus arctan of t will be equal to c. Let's get rid of the arctans, okay? In getting rid of the arctans, what do we do? We take the tangent of both sides. So if we take the tan of this and the tan of this, you're gonna have the tangent of arctan of y plus arctan 
of t will be equal to the tangent of c. Now, I wish you can distribute the tangent, but you can do that for trig. Remember, sine a plus b is not sine a plus sine b. No, you have to use the formula. Well, there's a formula for this stemming from sine a sine b, which we're going to use in this case, which is going to be the tangent. So this is equal to, uh, so this is our a and this is our b. It's actually tan a. Okay, let's write the formula somewhere here so we can copy it. I know that tan a plus b can be written as tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a tan b. Okay, so let's do that here. So this is going to be tan of arc tan y plus tan of arc tan of t divided by 1 minus the tan of arc tan y tan of arc tan t will be equal to. At this point, what we have is actually very easy because they've given us what these would be. Look, tan can undo arc tan so that what we have right now is just y. Tan of arc tan y is y, okay? They're inverse functions. The same thing happens here. We got plus t. Down here, what do we have? We have 1 minus y times t. And what you have left is tan c. From here, we can find our answer. Remember, we're looking for y because y is f of t, okay? That's the substitution. So using the initial conditions, when t is 3, y equals 2. We're going to do that, okay? This implies, let's do it this way. This implies, this is 2 plus 3 over 1 minus 2 times 3. That's going to be 2 times 3, which is going to be 5 over negative 5, which is negative 1, which is equal to our tan c. So we can actually come back here and say that since we found our tan c to be equal to negative 1, y plus t over 1 minus yt equals negative 1. So what is the function we're looking for? If we multiply this way, this means y plus t equals, this is going to be negative 1, and this multiplying this is going to be plus yt, plus yt. Okay, let's put all the yt's together. So we're going to have, if we move this back here and take t to the other side, you're going to end up with y minus yt equals negative 1 minus t. So that, and this implies, if you factor y, you have y into 1 minus t will be equal to negative 1 minus t, something like this, negative t minus t, negative 1 plus t. Okay, let's just do it that way, negative 1 plus t. So that y will be equal to 1 plus t over, if you use this negative to multiply this, it becomes t minus 1. And this is our final answer. Therefore, the function we're looking for, you see, this is why they told you t is not equal to 1, right from the beginning, so that this will be defined. Here, what do we have? We're going to have f of t, that's the function we're looking for, is equal to, let's write it as t plus 1 over t minus 1. This is that function we we're looking for. There's no plus c. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.